You guys know the deal. I'm not trying to mess with this copyright. I don't know if this guy is really crying, but we got a nice video for you today. Uh, in three, two, one. I messed it up. Three, two, one. Blast off. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about reality shifting, which that sounds like how you would think it is where you are shifting your experience from your current reality to another reality, typically your desired reality. Now, what this sounds like to me is that some of these uh, Gen Z TikTok kids have a very vivid imagination, which I don't even know if it's a vivid imagination. If you have to come up with a whole new concept to explain just having an imagination, this is, ac is actually kind of scary scares me and it makes me think how many of you people do not dream at night when you go to sleep is it just a void and then you wake up <laughs> because <laughs> Because uh, you wouldn't need to reality shift if you just realize at night when you go to sleep, when you dream, uh, that that's you stepping into that alternate reality. <laughs> But yeah, they have this thing that has popped off and it's called reality shifting. I think it's from Harry Potter, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna put my neck out here, guys. I haven't watched any Harry Potter movie besides the first one. So I don't, I, I guess that's my first question is should maybe I check these out if they're talking about reality shifting. And they got a whole generation of young adults talking about switching over to their desired reality. It, it just makes me wonder, do I need to watch the other seven movies in this film series? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, before we continue, I noticed that 51.5% of you guys have been watching the videos, but you aren't subbed. Go ahead and tap in with your boy by hitting the subscribe button. And while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit the like as it helps out the channel. We're all about growth here. I try to be as entertaining as possible in these videos. So yeah, any support is much appreciated. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump back into the video. And if you think I'm not joking, type it in on YouTube. There's even videos with upwards to hundreds of thousands of views where they're talking about reality shifting. And we're gonna go ahead and read a little bit of an article to bring you guys up to date. What exactly is reality shifting? Put simply, the practice of shifting realities entails shifting your consciousness from your current experience, i.e. current reality, to another reality, typical your desired reality. I know this all sounds a little woo-woo, and there's of course a very broad spectrum on opinions on this topic. Some skeptics believe shifting is simply lucid dreaming, the kind of dreaming where you are aware of your dream state and total control over what you do. On the other hand, others do truly believe that the reality shifting to is just as real as the one we live in now with characters that have their own feelings emotions and memories a parallel universe of sorts and then it goes on further to even explain how to shift reality according to experts <laughs> So how is reality shifting done? While I can't say I've successfully shifted, I mean, come on, would I really be here right now if I could do it? I was a frequent lucid dreamer as a child, so I'm familiar with the liberating feeling of total control in a dream world. It may sound wacky, but those who have lucid dreamt before will know that it's a very real experience. But because shifting is such a personal experience, there's really no one size fits all solution, template, or procedure to follow. It says overall, however, based on everything I read, shifting generally entails a combination of the following meditating listening to subliminals affirmations related to your dream reality sped up to pretty much be silent layered with music and ambient noise a detailed script of one's desired reality here is a hogwarts template via thoughtful gift club let me take a look at this hogwarts template and I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm currently looking at. Okay, so here it is. Uh, it says, our fill in the blanks Hogwarts shifting script template. Follow the script for shifting to Hogwarts and be sure to fill in the, yo, the Harry Potter universe gotta be crazy, son. I may have to go back and watch these movies. Uh, like, this isn't something that I could understand when I was a kid and the internet was a thing then, this being popular then, but it's like, yo, we 20 years later and this shit's still hitting like this? But then everybody hate uh, the lady that made it cause she was talking about some turf shit or something like that i don't know it's, this is some interesting stuff i'm gonna have to go literally watch the film again but it says my name is blank the nickname that my friends call me is blank i am blank years old i am in my blank year at hogwarts my birthday is blank i have blank hair and blank eyes i am blank tall and my body type is blank my best features are blank my catchphrase is <laughs> nigga what <laughs> My catchphrase is blank. At Hogwarts, my friends are blank. My friends understand my sense of humor and references. We became friends because blank, insert friends origin story. None of my friends can die. Uh, okay. And then it says, my best friend at Hogwarts is blank. We have been friends for blank years and our favorite thing to do together is blank. <laughs> We became best friends because blank, insert best friend, friendship origin story. My best friend cannot die. I share my dorm with blank. 
My love interest at Hogwarts is blank. We are blank, just friends seeing each other in a committed relationship, etc. They are blank, insert personality traits of Hogwarts love interest and likes me for my blank, insert traits of yours that your Hogwarts love interest likes. I met my love interest when blank, insert love interest origin story, my love interest cannot die. And then, damn, this shit is, hold on, time out, hold on, I'm scrolling? Oh, nah, bro, this is long. This is not... Oh, no, 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 y'all. This is, I'm not reading all this. This is very long. Let's go back to the original article. That's way longer than I thought. Oh, I would expect a nigga with reality shift if you literally write all this out and you're reading it and playing it to the point it's silent over some music. If you don't reality shift and you and you write out this guy, yo, this is like, this is longer than some... <laughs> This is longer than political alignment surveys where you find out if you're right or left leaning. Like this is, this is a pretty long one. Um, so let's just continue reading. It says a specific shifting method. Scripting in particular is a core topic in reality shifting. While it's not mandatory, many claim that creating a detailed script of one's desired reality can help the process a lot. These scripts can take any form the shifter desires, virtual, physical, written, visual, etc. So long as they go in detail about one's life will be like in the dream reality um who are your friends what you look like and even practical matters like the fact that you always smell good along with yo is niggas really that stinky that they have to imagine smelling good like jeez louise along with important notes like how one can return to their current reality how the passage of time differs between current reality and desired reality etc okay and then they have a whole bunch of different uh scripting templates that you can go to so we have a mcu shifting script template star wars maze room Runner. I don't know, really know what that is. Game of Thrones, anime, My Hero Academia, Attack on Titan. Who the fuck wants to go to an Attack on Titan universe? Bro, did you see what Aaron did in the last five chapters? Did you see what my boy was doing? Who wants to go to that <laughs> to that reality? You go to that reality? I, I don't even want to spoil it. I really want to get this one comment off, but I don't want to spoil it for somebody that's reading it. So I'm just not going to say it, but... <laughs> It may and it may rhyme with bumbling you go you go to that reality right when the bumbling starts man come on son we got a supernatural shifting script template uh and i think hold on there's even more there's different methods to introduce people to shifting so there's the raven method this is probably the most popular reality shifting method with it you lay in a starfish position on your bed and count to 100 while subliminals are playing yo this shit wait what so you're laying in a starfish wait what wait whoa, whoa whoa time out now time out time out time out this is making that christian to me flare up i gotta google what a starfish looks like no this is yeah this is yeah yeah what we gonna put a ring around your body while you in a starfish and you gonna flip you upside down i I'm, I'm just i'm sorry i'm sorry let me continue i apologize this is probably the most popular reality shifting method with it you lay in a starfish position on your bed and count to 100 while subliminals are playing making sure to say positive affirmations between numbers this is one method i did try once and it induced a very scary inception-esque stack of dreams within dreams where I kept waking up not knowing what reality was real. Likely a coincidence, but it was pretty spooky. <laughs> no shit. Like, oh my God. Oh man, I'm, I'm gonna chill out. I'm not gonna do it on y'all today. I'm not gonna do it, but y'all about to make me pull out scripture. Alice in Wonderland method. With this method, you lay on your back, imagine yourself sitting against a tree until someone from your desired reality runs past you and then you're supposed to chase them until you fall down the rabbit hole and you find a key to your desire desired reality. The pillow method. With this method, you write down affirmations on a piece of paper and repeat them before bed, making sure to sleep with the paper under your pillow as well. Elevator method. With this method, you're meant to imagine yourself in an elevator with energy levels going higher and higher as you go up. Soon the elevator doors will open up to your desired reality when your energy is high enough. Okay, so... I'm not gonna lie, what this sounds like, this sounds like speaking it into existence. That's what it sounds like to me, but people are doing it with like, it, it almost seems as if they've given up on their existence here and they want to literally go on some architect from Matrix Reloaded type shit where they build the whole world around them. That's what it sounds like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Sounds like some people can't play the game, they don't wanna play the game that we're currently in, they got a bad hand, they don't like the hand they're dealt, and instead of being little kid me where I wanna I was a little kid if I didn't like the hand I was dealt when we played games I would flip the table like I'm gonna be honest with you it, it seems like they have decided to opt out and go to a different reality I believe in that speaking it into existence but this is this is this is taking a little far right like you I mean you gotta speak it into existence but this is like 
man this is definitely this is speaking into existence on steroids bro if by the end of all this your reaction is still skeptical kids these days i have to say transporting oneself to a better reality shifting or not is a pretty smart way to deal with 2020 and it is of course a much better use of time than all lime wiring and neopet saying i did back in my days of youth truthfully it's tough to discuss the legitimacy of reality shifty without trending into philosophical crisis like what even is reality but there are enough reports and accounts out there of shifting that I'm positive at least feels real to those who have successfully managed it. I will be shifting realities to supplement my lack of travel anytime soon. I'll keep you posted but until then I very much all the time in the rabbit hole that is Draco Talk which Draco Talk is some Harry Potter type stuff. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys man that was definitely a rabbit hole and that strikes me as there's gonna be a lot of psychedelic users as some of these people get older if they don't grow out of this. I'm not going front. I remember I went down the rabbit hole of like listening to to Joe Rogan talk about DMT and that shit that they those people explain on that or when people take shrooms or any type of popping acid and even on TikTok for a little minute I was seeing people drop acid and record themselves and then they would record afterwards like I remember seeing this chick she was just crying as she's recording herself man I'm who wants to see, I don't want to see that shit I don't know what you're saying and then some people say yeah I dropped acid and, <laughs> and I'm still feeling the effects four months later that's all I'm seeing with this I see that there's there's a generation of young people that may start messing with those psychedelics as time goes on to try to reach a reality that they feel more comfortable with because they can't take the current reality that they are living in. I am saying reality a lot. But that's my thoughts on this, man. This was sent in by one of you guys sub to the channel. You came in, you dropped a DM and you blessed me. Like to you, I put my hand on your shoulder. I'm not gonna absorb your melanin. If anything, I'm gonna push some melanin into you, make you blacker, make you darker. And at that point, you know, you can stand by me as a brother. So with that being said, I'm gonna leave the conversation off to you guys on my Philip DeFranco and ask, how do you feel about this? Let me know down in the comment section below. <laughs> do you have, has anybody reality shifted? I didn't put any of the clips in, I don't know yet, but I didn't, I don't think I put any of the clips in where it's like, I saw a little girl on YouTube talking about it. She, is she old enough to even have a channel? <laughs> That's the question I gotta ask. She looks younger than 13 up there. Like, I think the video had like 50, 60,000 views talking about reality shifting. So I, 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 you guys gotta let me know how you feel about it down in the comment section below. As always, you know where to find me, twitter.com forward slash arm Pikampachi, patreon.com forward slash rmp with over 110 hours of additional content and if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please do hit that like button hit that sub help your boy out so with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one everybody have a nice day and i'll oh, damn i said nice day everybody have a great day and i'll talk to you guys soon